Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Joao Cadete de Matas, who is chairman of Anacom. Welcome to the studio. Nice to meet you and thank you for your invitation. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, uh, there is current considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, ICTs, for good. What is Anacom's position on this? We have no doubt about the relevance of information and telecommunications technologies for the development of our societies uh, today. Um, indeed, we cannot uh, envisage the development of uh, an economy, of a country, a region, without good communications. And uh, when we talk about good communications, we talk about also a good uh, digital literacy. Uh, and of course, uh, that uh, the telecommunications operators are providing uh, good communications to all the regions, so to all the countries, even to the remote areas. This is crucial for the economic and social development. Now, this plenipotentiary conference is the first uh, one since the world agreed on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, perhaps you could provide us some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive sustainable development in Portugal. Yes, uh, uh, perhaps two main examples. Um, one is coming from our experience with the several islands we have in Azores and in Madeira uh, that belongs the most peripheral areas in uh, Europe and in my country. And uh, uh, indeed, in the case of Iceland, uh, it's crucial to ensure the cohesion with uh, the continental area and telecommunications are uh, fundamental to provide um, these uh, platforms that are needed for the development of the, these regions. Uh, in the case of Iceland, as you know, the submarine cables are uh, the most important aspect. Of course, they should compl be complemented by the satellite uh, communications. But in both cases, and mainly in the case of uh, submarine cables, they are growing around the world and providing good connections between the different continents and also in the case of our country uh, with the island. So this is an example where we cannot uh, uh, prepare the future of the, the people living in these regions without good communications and providing good conditions for the companies to uh, provide uh, good telecommunication. So this is the first example. A second example that is also uh, connected with the development of the remote areas. Uh, in my country, as it happened in many other countries, during the uh, last decades, we observed a movement of people, migrations of people to the main cities looking for jobs. But we need to maintain people in the different regions and from this point of view, we cannot have jobs, we cannot have uh, investment, we cannot have quality of life, even people studying at universities and uh, different levels of school without providing good access to internet and uh, a good development for the digital uh, world. So uh, this is a second priority that I can give from our example is to allow this kind of the development that is crucial for all the territory. Uh, it was the case of Eisen that I mentioned before, but also to the people living uh, far from the main cities. And it's coming back to that. In terms of the internet, about half the world's peoples are now connected to the internet, but the other half are not. I wanted to find out what's uh, Portugal doing to ensure that, uh, that the rest are connected? Yes, um, um, from this point of view, it's important uh, today that fiber is going to all the places. So we create from the regulatory point of view the better conditions uh, to ensure that uh, the, there, is, there are cases of co-investment that is a way to reduce the costs, the total costs of the investments, uh, but also to ensure the, uh, the sharing of the different networks that are uh, required to uh, provide the uh, internet access to all the people. So we are doing all we can according to, with the regulatory powers uh, in order to ensure that every people in all the country, even in small village, 
they are able to have access to internet. This is crucial to maintain people in these regions and to maintain a sustainable development of the economy and of the society uh, globally considered. Finally, I just wanted to find out, what's your message for participants here at uh, the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference? My main message to all the participants is that we should profit this occasion to share experience, to know uh, what, it, what its country and uh, all the participants are doing uh, to improve the communications. Uh, we can benefit from sharing experience. Um, I would like to congratulate ITU, the United Arab Emirates and Dubai for the excellent organization. This was an excellent uh, uh, framework to organize bilateral meetings and during the discussions we are having during these days, we had the opportunity to learn and to share experience and to have a connected world, connected countries, connected continents is crucial for the development of our world. So congratulations and thank you for your invitation. Thank you very much indeed. Great, thank you. It was okay. <laughs>